Hey, welcome. So if you've ever thought accounting is just, you know, boring math and endless spreadsheets, get ready to have your mind changed. Today, we're going to crack the code on what accounting really is. It's not just about numbers. It's the actual language of business. So let's just jump right in with a question. I mean, have you ever really thought about it? How does one tiny little everyday action like buying a taco for five bucks somehow make its way into a massive multi-million dollar company's financial report? Well, that's the exact journey we're going on today. Okay, so to make sense of this journey, we're going to need a map. And here it is. This is our roadmap. We're going to follow the trail of that data step by step and see exactly how all this raw activity gets turned into a story that actually makes sense. But before we even take a single step on this roadmap, you have to understand this one rule. This, this is it. This is the single most important rule in the entire world of accounting. It's like the law of gravity for business. Everything we're about to talk about is designed to keep this one equation in perfect balance, always. So what does that actually mean? Well, it's actually pretty simple when you break it down. On one side, you have everything a company owns. We call those assets, you know, stuff like cash, buildings, inventory. And on the other side, you have everybody who has a claim to that stuff. It's either someone you owe money to, which are your liabilities, or it's the owners themselves, which is the equity. That's it. What you own has to equal who has a claim to it. It has to balance. All right, map in hand, rule understood. Let's start our journey. Step one, capturing transactions. This is where the story begins. This is the ground floor where every single sale, every purchase, every little financial movement gets noticed and written down. Now, here's a really important catch. Not everything a business does gets written down. Accountants are only interested in something called an accounting event. And for something to qualify, it has to meet two big tests. Can you measure it in money? And does it actually change that core equation we just talked about? Assets, liabilities, or equity? If not, it doesn't make the cut. Okay, so where does all this information actually go? It goes into a ledger system. You can think of subledgers as like the nitty-gritty diaries. Every single $5 taco sale lives here. Then all those details get rolled up and summarized into the general ledger, which is kind of the official master book. But here's the magic trick that makes it all work, the double entry rule. For every single transaction, there has to be a debit and an equal credit. It's a brilliant little system that physically forces our main equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity, to stay perfectly balanced no matter what. And before we can move on to the really cool part, there's one last crucial check. It's called the trial balance. Think of it like the ultimate spell check for accountants. They list out every single account and add up all the debits and all the credits. If the two totals match, you get the green line. If not, it's back to the books to find the mistake. Okay, so we've captured all the data, we've double checked it, now what? Well, now we get to the good stuff. Step two, crafting statements. This is where we take those thousands of individual transactions and assemble them into the main chapters of the company's financial story. Now, there are a bunch of these reports, but really, these three are the big ones. They're the superstars of the accounting world. You've got the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. Each one tells a really different but super important part of the story. And pay close attention to the purpose of the first two. It's a key difference. Okay, this first one, the balance sheet, this distinction is so important. It's like taking a photograph of the company. It shows you exactly what its financial health looks like all its assets, all its liabilities, all its equity on one specific day, completely frozen in time. But the income statement, that's totally different. If the balance sheet is a photo, the income statement is the movie. It tells you the story of how the company performed, all its sales and all its costs over a whole stretch of time, like a month or a quarter or an entire year. It's all about the action. All right, we've got the raw data, we've built the reports, so what? Well, this is the payoff. Step three, gaining insight. This is where we go from being accountants to being detectives. We use these reports to ask the really big, important questions about the business. And what's our main tool for this detective work? Financial ratios. Ratios are these clever little formulas that let us grab numbers from different reports and smash them together to get answers. Let's look at a really important one, the current ratio. It asks a super simple but absolutely vital question. Can we pay our bills that are due soon? And the formula for this, it's beautifully simple. You're just taking your current assets, 
that's stuff you own that you can turn into cash pretty quickly, and you divide it by your current liabilities, which are the bills you have to pay, well, pretty quickly. It's a head-to-head -head comparison of what you've got versus what you owe right now. And this chart just makes it crystal clear what that number actually tells you. See that healthy company, a ratio of 2.0? That means they have $2 of ready cash for every $1 of bills they have to pay. Awesome. But look at the risky company, a ratio of 0.8. That means for every dollar they owe, they only have 80 cents ready to go. That's a huge red flag. Okay, let's take a step back for a second and just appreciate the journey we've been on. We started with one simple little transaction and we followed its trail all the way to a real powerful insight about the health of a company. This is why it all matters. So here it is, the whole cycle start to finish in five simple steps. Something happens, it gets recorded, the numbers get checked, the reports get built, and finally, you analyze it. That is how a single $5 taco sale becomes part of a huge business story. And that's the big takeaway here. You now get the logic, you've seen how a tiny little event flows through a clear, organized system to become a piece of information that people can actually use to make big decisions. You've just learned the grammar of business. Which really just leaves us with one final question to think about. Now that you have this framework, now that you can speak a little bit of this language, what stories are the numbers out there going to tell you?